Saludos familia, it asked my here from Tambora Dialogues. So I want to talk to you about the terminology used to describe human migration. Human migration has been happening for millions of years, and so that's not new. What is new is that the numbers have increased substantially over the past 50 years due to increased global climate disasters, right-wing populism that undermines democracy and spews toxic hate, inequity, the pandemic, the war, all of these things have led to mass displacement. Since January of this year, over 70,000 migrants or refugees from the southern shore of the Mediterranean arrived in Italy, mainly on the island of Lampedusa, and they haven't been well received. Just last week, the United Nations said it was deeply distressed when the Greek government found 92 migrants or refugees naked and bruised after allegedly being forced across the Evros River from Turkey. In New York City, there are over 20,000 migrants or refugees that arrived over the past few months. Here in Kiskeja, we have experienced a surge of migrants or refugees. I know that you're probably asking yourself, why does she keep using migrant or refugees? Isn't it the same? No, it is not. And I'll explain in a bit, but I first want to finish this thought regarding the Venezuelans and the Haitians. So migrants or refugees from Venezuela and Haiti have been making their way to the Dominican Republic in droves. However, the treatment of each group has been vastly different. 100,000 Venezuelans were able to receive visas, which allows them to work, to join the social security system under the DR's migration normalization plan, yet the Haitians have not. And so I will talk about that and how each country responds differently to the different groups of people. It's gonna get real, so stay tuned for that episode. Today though, I wanna talk to you to address the misuse of the terms refugee, asylum seeker, immigrant, and migrant, because they're often used interchangeably when their terms are quite different. So migrants are people that have made the decision to leave their homes, often temporarily, in search of a better work opportunity, better education. Migrants can return to their homes if they choose to or if things don't work out. Immigrants are people that leave their country of origin to settle permanently in another country. Similar to a migrant, an immigrant willingly leaves their native country. However, unlike migrants, immigrants legally enter another country and that country can grant them permission to permanently resettle there. Immigrants have no restrictions regarding a return to their country of origin. Refugees are people that are forced to flee their home country due to armed conflict in that country or because they fear for their safety or have a fear of being persecuted. Refugees cannot return to their home countries. Asylum seekers are people that file to be a refugee and whose application is being evaluated to determine if they're eligible for refugee status. Of the 90,000 plus people that are fleeing Haiti at the moment, a large percentage of them will be deemed refugees as they are trying to escape the escalating gang violence in that country. The reason why I wanted to clarify these terms is because the misuse of these terms creates a false narrative about those who are leaving their native homes. According to the United Nations, there are 26 million refugees globally, and half of those are children. So I encourage you to think about that the next time you hear someone spewing hate about migrants or immigrants or asylum seekers or refugees. In the meantime, be safe. Be healthy and stay engaged, mi gente. Hasta pronto.